what's going on here with Nate to Wait? And this is a crazy plugin that I've just recently tried out. I currently demoed this plugin. It's called Intensity, and it is intense. If you have a listen to this plugin, you know, or even on your own mixes, or have a listen to what I've got here, you're kind of going to see what I'm talking about. But what I what I've looked at as far as this plugin is concerned does have a manual. I'll just bring that up really quickly and show you what they talk about on the manual. I don't think they really even know what to call it because <laughs> because they talk about it being compression but not compression and it's some kind of AI algorithm and it's facial recognition and all this sort of stuff they use behind the scenes. So I'm assuming they've tried to use some kind of algorithms to create the way that this plugin works. From what I can see, though, um, just briefly, I'll just show you that. You guys can read it for yourselves. Um, you can download the, mo the actual plugin and try it on your own mix as well. Um, but what, what I can see, they're, they're talking about it being on a, a master bus or a mix or just using it as, a, I guess, a maximizer for different things. Um, I've got two different examples I want to show you, though, with this plugin. So first off, I'll show you my mix without the plugin on it so that uh, you guys can hear that. So let me just mute this track first so we don't get some crazy volume going on. And I'll just put this down to the same level that the other one is at. So I had to reduce it because basically this was at minus, uh, actually, sorry, it was at zero dB the entire time. So you can see it was peaking a lot. Anyway, so have a listen to the original track and the dynamics of the track, and then have a listen to this, whatever you want to call it, artifacts, extra stuff on the additional track that I've got and see what you think. I'll play the original one. Let's go. Okay, cool. Now, before I go into this plugin with it on, I just want to show you something with the waveforms. If you haven't already noticed that, you can see here with my track, it's kind of like there's a quieter section here where it's a little less dynamic. Um, there's just less going on in the mix. You can see on this this one here, it's just I don't know, it's like maximized it to the fifth degree, and it's really gotten loud. So you're going to notice a lot of things when you hear the differences between the two. But let me just play it to you now so you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't do this on this track. And I think you hear a lot of this stuff maybe on like EDM and stuff like that. They just push the track to the maximum. They use as much as they possibly can as far as loudness. But this plugin could serve a purpose, I guess, when you're thinking about making your track a little bit louder. Like I said, I wouldn't do what I've done here. I just really overdrove it so I could see what it was capable of and how loud it could possibly get. Um, the thing I want to show you though is that if you look at this plugin, I'll just turn it off and disable and put this L2 on and check out like how much volume. I mean, this plugin is giving me a ridiculous amounts of volume as opposed to if I was pushing a limiter just to try and get that same kind of level. I'll just show you this L2. I'm, I'm maximizing it a lot and it doesn't sound anywhere near the loudness. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Now I can tell you probably why it doesn't sound like the loudness because there is a lot of stuff that's happened with distortion and stuff like that that I've picked up at least with this plugin and kind of what it's applying to the track. Uh, but I just want to give you guys an idea. Like you can see the same kind of loudness levels um, that were happening. So let me just play the meter. I'm just actually going to turn this so it doesn't send audio out. But let me just show you the differences between the two with L2 on. I'm just going to crank that up so we can get kind of similar. So I'll go for minus nine because I'm sure that's where the other one was at. All right, say we'll go for that. 
Let's just switch across to the other track and see how loud that gets. All right, so they're kind of hitting at the same kind of area, so about minus 10-ish, even minus 9 sometimes. I mean, you can tell, if I just turn the, vo the volume back on so it shows you the difference between the two, let's just go back to the original. All right, so that shows you a lot. I mean, the mix has really been pushed up really loud. It's been maximized, and that's just something that you guys can pay attention to when you have a look and download this plugin. The other thing I want to show you as well is on a kick. I've actually got a kick here bounced out. I've just got to find it. Uh, I think it's around about here. There we go. So I maximized this kick to see what would actually happen to uh, to the kick, and I noticed that a lot of the, the peaks kind of just got chopped off completely. They were already there. Um, some of the peaks already been cut off on this particular kick, but it really tried to maximize. Like you can see here, there's some different shapes that really got pushed up in the volume. Um, other things with the, the tail of the kick as well, that kind of increased in volume. And even this little part here, it, it really pushed it up in volume. So they're kind of very much the same as far as the loudness, but it's just really pushed everything up in volume a lot. So if you guys are looking for a plugin to actually make your mix louder, um, it's definitely kind of, I don't know what it's actually doing because it's some kind of AI thing going on behind the scenes, but it's definitely, this plugin, if I just activate it back again, um, it's definitely got some kind of crazy uh, algorithms behind this to to allow it. You can obviously adjust on a custom setting here how much, you know, frequencies EQ wise you want it to do. I don't know if, how that exactly works as far as the EQ but I'm sure it's probably somewhere explained in the manual there. Anyway, give it a go, try it out. I just wanted to bring it to your attention, show you kind of what it does on a mix, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.